They added the dragon pickaxe to a couple of different places, including the Calphite Queen now, right over there. But if we look in mini games and look at Volcanic Mine, when they added the dragon pickaxe to the Volcanic Mine, it's a different variant. I've actually never been there, so I figured this is the perfect opportunity to go check it out. I think I want to initially do 100 runs. We went ahead and bought 3,000 of the Numulites. Got 100 teleports to house. I think this is going to be what our inventory looks like. We'll place the volcanic mine teleports down here. We want to set it up to have range as our protection, so we don't get hurt inside. It's also apparently recommended to do a prayer potion and a stamina potion, but this is what my inventory is going to be. A couple extra house teleports in case. We're bringing the prospector outfit with the dragon pickaxe and the celestial ring. Just filling in the graceful for the backside. A little bit of running will be happening. Let's head to Fossil Island. Part of even entering into the volcanic mine is you have to have the base camp completely built and bring along 30 Numulite to give it a run. So the reason we're looking to cheese it while we're here at the volcanic mine is actually because, since we've never done this, soloing the volcanic mine pretty much almost needs the large water container from what I understand. And while we're here we'll collect some of the volcanic mine teleports to make it easy to come back here. We'll fill in the collection lock slot with the ultra fertile soil spell. And the big thing is the ore packs, because this is what has the chance to contain that broken dragon pickaxe. So what do I mean by cheesing the volcanic mine? So the real way to play volcanic mine is apparently to mine a boulder all the way from one side of the cavern down through a tunnel to the other. The more players you have, you have one, two, and three boulders that can show up. But what I'm cheesing is if you don't even play the mini game, Run just from the staircase up here to grab the large rock. It gives you one of the heat proof vessels, so you can come up here. Pray range, that way these guys don't hurt you, and apparently auto retaliate is still on. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so face the direction you want to throw it, and then you can just click on it to throw the water. And you can keep going. Just go a little bit more north, inspect the vent here, run back across over to here. At the moment we have 56 points, that brings us up to 106. With that second vent inspected, run back to where we picked up the initial rock, grab a second one, lock it, mine it, block it, mine it, grab one more stone, put it on and clear it away. That'll bring you to 400 points, and without even at all playing the minigame, we'll leave the staircase to the exit. And if this actually works, it looks like it gave 1k mining XP, and if we trade them, it gives the 400 points. Well, let's go ahead and buy another volcanic mine teleport. That unlocks the collection lock slot for that, and gives me easy access back. And our next goal is going to be the large water container. The reason that I am not bringing stamina or prayer potions is purely because when I get low on that or I'm down on run energy, just teleport to the house. I don't have the best pool, so we'll run to the altar, run to the pool, and teleport right back. This might be my new favorite way of training mining. Let me reset this. Let's go ahead and just buy five of those. So essentially we're starting with zero points. Let's see what the experience and point rates on this is going to look like if we try to do this efficiently. So all in all, each of these runs with his bonus XP at the end will give us... 1600 XP for the lap, 400 points. Let's do this a few more times and see where we get. So it looks like the mine can hit up to 20. I don't actually know the max hit yet. And I should have enough prey to go in again. It takes about 35 to 40 run energy to do a lap. And it's roughly a two minute lap, including the wait time to get in. We're about half an hour in. I've bought two more of the volcanic mine teleports. Managing to keep just under that 45k, so it's way less effort than power mining iron, but just barely less experience than power mining iron, and I'm not even being tick perfect, and I'm kind of doing this pretty relaxed. The thing I've learned is the main issue is having run energy. Prayer isn't the most important part. You can walk this and do it without prayer, but the prayer makes the hit of the lava monsters turn to one. 
so it's nicer with it. So for me personally, I'm getting about 11,000 volcanic mine points an hour with 42k XP. If you're paying more attention than I am here, you'll probably see closer to the rates of 14,000 points per hour and 47k XP if you're constantly running and being tick perfect on everything. Now that we can effectively play Volcanic Mine, let's go ahead and use up the rest of these Numulites and see where that brings us up to. We are now officially halfway through the stack, 50 games completed. I've changed the outfit a little bit to add some more prayer bonus with the cloaks and the fury and the godbook and the blessing. We have currently stored just under 17,000 points. And looking at it, we've already bought 16 of the Volcanic Mine teleports, so that would be 3,200 more points worth. So after 50 games, our total point count is roughly 2,100 points. And I've gained about 90,000 experience. And this has taken roughly an hour and 40 minutes, give or take. We have made it to the final run here. Let's go ahead and enter for our 100th time, checking the collection log. I should only still have the 16 purchased at 200 points, that's 3,200 points. And if we trade him, we ended up with a total of 40,354 points after 100 volcanic mine runs. So essentially, every 10 laps in the cheese method gives you one chance at the broken pickaxe. Once I have the large water container, I think I actually want to learn how to do this properly by mining the boulder down, since now we know you only need to have prayer on whenever the creatures are attacking you. Ideally, it'll come down to one volcanic mine teleport to one house teleport, making the amount of points that you spend on the volcanic mine teleports come down by a lot. This is actually better than regular mining. It's not as active or as slow. Since there's no timer in between games, I can just kind of hang out as much as you want in between going back in and there's no fault except for my own experience rates. I bet you guys wanted to see a shot at getting the dragon pickaxe. So let's go ahead and do two of them. Essentially, from what the numbers look like, if the dragon pickaxe is rarer than about one out of 40 out of the ore pack, you are better off spending your points on the Ruinite Ore for money here. But let's see if we can get Spoon, shall we? And, as usual, nothing. Let's get that heatproof vessel real quick. And we'll use that to start learning the true Volcanic Mine minigame. We'll check that out on a future day. And with that one more log slot, we're now up to 172. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next one.